Hey, I'm August Browning. Uh, I go by Gypsy Lord as my, my handle in game. And I'm a champion designer here at Riot. So I've worked on Jinx, Vi, Echo, Nar, and my most recent uh, love project, I suppose, would be Jin, uh, the virtuoso. Jin is a psychopathic serial killer who believes the best thing he can give everyone, anyone is a beautiful death. Jin uh, broadly is a, a, our newest marksman. A mar marksman meaning a character who has a range-based attack that he uses um, and usually scales with attack damage and your primary source of damage is through right-clicking on enemy champions. Now, the special thing about Jin is that unlike most marksmen, with the exception of Graves, Jin has ammo. He doesn't scale very well with attack speed, and so while most marksmen will buy attack speed and attack very, very fast, Jin will always attack slowly, and in fact only has four bullets. And after that fourth shot, he's going to have to reload. And so that's, that's his, his core functionality in the game, is a ranged carry. Every action you take is, is very, very important, and you should be thinking about anything you do. It's about planning, it's about precision, it's about the performance and the finale when you eventually kill someone because you did it all correctly. So the idea with Jin is this idea of every moment matters. And so his abilities all encompass that. And so first of all, there's his passive. Jin's passive is quite complex when you read it, but the basics of it are Jin attacks much slower. He only has four shots, but his attacks do significantly more damage. And the fourth shot will guaranteed to crit and execute people. And so one, two, three, and number four is going to hurt and hit them very hard, especially if you've done a lot of damage beforehand. His Q, which is a, a very simple ability, is a bouncing grenade, dancing grenade. And it simply, uh, you throw it at an enemy, it's, it's about the same range as your attack range, and it will bounce off that enemy to it, the closest enemy up to four times. And if it kills anything, it'll amp its damage. This spell is very important because you can cast it while you're reloading. So if you're out of bullets, you'll still have something to do in case you want to get that last bit of damage in or last hit of minion. Jin's W is a very fun spell because it is the longest range basic ability that does damage in the game. And it does a bit of damage, about a medium amount. It's not the best poking spell, but the really cool thing about it is that if anybody on your team has damaged that person in the last four seconds, it'll root them. Jin's E, is captive audience, and what it is is Jin has these things he calls lotus traps, which are these small traps he's made that look like beautiful flowers, and he puts them on the ground and they stealth. And then if enemy walks over one in the future, it'll reveal them and mark them for his W, so they can be rooted, and create this large slow zone, which then will, after two seconds, detonate, doing a lot of damage. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to put these down to keep yourself safe, but also if you think an enemy will walk over one, you can watch it, let them walk over, hit them with your W to root them in it, and then it'll do blow up and do tons of damage to them. And then finally, Jin's ultimate is probably one of his most exciting spells. It's gonna be a signature for people who play him, I think. It's called Curtain Call, because you kill people with it. It's their Curtain Call. And what it is, is, is the screen actually zooms out. It's the first time we've ever done this in the game. The screen zooms out, and you get to fire four bullets at lightning speeds, about 3,500 range, which is about the same range as Luxalt, a bit longer. From a gameplay aspect, we started out with, well, what would it mean to be a sniper in League of Legends without enroaching on what Caitlyn already does? Because Caitlyn does, again, have some sniper aspects. And the first thing we thought of was, well, wait, what if this character actually like had a sidearm instead of a sniper rifle most of the time? And so that's where Jin's pistol comes from. And what if the sniping moments actually came from them assembling their sniper rifle? The other thing we were thinking about in terms of a sniper fantasy was a lot of sniping in these FPS is actually about planning, if you think about it. It's not just about like getting a sniper rifle and going and quick scoping people, unless you're really, really good, and that's actually a lot of fun, but it's about like, where are you going to set up? Where's your sniper nest? What places are you going to look? Or where are you going to watch? And then how are you going to shoot? Uh, and then in some games, like you can get like plant claymores and stuff, right? And, like making sure that you have an escape route set, or like if somebody finds your nest, you'll be safe. And so we wanted to in, uh, add that to his gameplay as well. Where, and this is where things like the trap came in and the spotting on the W mechanic came in. Is it was this idea of, well, sniping isn't just about slow shots and accuracy, it's also about planning. It's about thinking, what am I going to do in the future? He's not just, just a, a raw killer who like is all about accuracy. He's more about not just getting a good kill, but getting the perfect kill. And to Jin, the perfect kill is more than just shooting a guy once. It's about the performance. So that's where that came from, and that's where that started getting developed. 
And then they just kept feeding back into each other. And so then it's like, okay, well, Jin's more about this eccentric serial killer who's a little more, a little more artistic and like about a performance. Um, and he has four shots. Well, what if he was obsessed with the number four? And that's the writer uh, uh, said, well, what if that was a thing? And I was like, oh, wow, I could put that on the rest of the kit. And so that's why his ultimate has four shot and his Q bounces four times and his W reveals you for four seconds. Uh, his E, I mean, his E reveals you for four seconds. It's like Jin is obsessed with the number four. And so, and that's how like these things get going now is it's like, well, I have a gameplay idea and I give it to the writer or the concept artist. And then they're like, wow, that's really cool. Let me put that in my, my story and my concept art. And then they'll come up with something and it'll be like, oh, he's got this like barrel that he carries around. Like, what do we do with that? And then I'll be like, oh, well that actually could be the W. It would be a great animation if like he, he held up the barrel and shot it with that, the barrel instead of just his pistol. And then it's just a self-reinforcing thing where we go back and forth and back and forth until we make this great character who ideally, and we don't always get it perfect, mind you, but ideally their, their, theme, their theme and their gameplay and their writing and their lore, they just all mesh together to make something really compelling and, and fun to play and experience and be because it's a character and yeah, that's cool.